Greetings, my noble knights. It is I, Blaze Templar, and we're here with our Week Nine battle against um, Jose, who is I can't even remember the team right now, but he did bring a lot of the threats I thought he would bring. Um, so yeah, I'm not too afraid at the moment, but at the same time, I do know I need to play uh, smart. I decided on Dragon's Folly uh, because it does actually resist. Uh, a lot of his moves, and probably wasn't expecting it. So, it kind of worked in my favor. Uh, looking at his team, the likely leads are the Zapdos, the uh, Pidgeot, uh, possibly Tangrowth, but I doubt it. Um, I think I want to lead Heracross, maybe? I mean, it threatens a lot of his team right off the get-go. So, uh, yeah, I think Heracross is going to be my MVP, so that'll be a thing. And I don't mind him needing a moment, um, considering how much trouble I had uh, getting things arranged. And I do apologize for that, Jose. Uh, but thank you for being so patient. I really do appreciate it. Um, and we'll see how the battle goes. So, yeah, uh, looking at his team, it definitely is an interesting build. He's got the Regenerator Core in uh, Tang Growth and... Uh, Slow King, which could be a problem to get around, but at the same time, I'm not too worried about it. Empoleon kind of deals with them decently. Um, it has Toxic to whittle them down, too. So, yeah, there's that. Um, stealth Rocks will be quite handy. Uh, I, Looking at his team, I'm guessing he's going to be running offensive Zapdos, which means Rock Slide should just completely flatten it, as I am Adamant Scarf. Um... Pidgeot will not appreciate the Rock Slide. Uh, most of his team really doesn't like Rock Slide at all. Um, so it, it works out, and if I need to, I can hard switch into uh, my Spirit Tomb or um, Empoleon. They're kind of my defensive core this week. Um, Savali, I'm going to try to save till a little bit later in the game so I can Flame Charge, Sword Stance, and Sweep, hopefully. Um, Sword Stance, Rock Slide, uh, Multi Attack and the Flame Charge. I don't know if I really want to risk uh, Rock Slide not KOing, though. Um, but at the same time, I kind of do, just because I really, really don't like seeing Zapdos. Um, yeah, we'll Rock Slide. Only did half, which means he is more defensive, and oh, we got the flinch. That's actually huge, because now another Rock Slide will take it out, and he knows that. But at the same time, uh, most of his team doesn't really appreciate getting hit by a Rock Slide. Sorry. I am sorry, but I'm not. It's actually kind of one of the reasons why I ran, or, uh, ran the Rock Slide. But yeah, he does switch. I'm not surprised. But at the same time, I kind of wanted to go for it just in case. Um, yeah, I think the... Uh, I don't know what he wants to go for right now. Um, but I think we'll go into Spirit Tomb. Earth... Ow! Ow. <laughs> that hurt a lot. Ow. <laughs> um, Z Pain Split. Hopefully we can let... No. We're just going to get critted and knocked out. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is really quite frustrating. Not going to lie. Losing that... Oh. Got critted. Not much I could do, though. Um, at that point, really not able to do a lot to it. So... Oh, that crit. That crit. That crit. That crit. We're hacks happy on both sides. You can go to sleep. Thank you. Um, considering that, I think we just go for a couple hidden powers. Oh! Technician boosted! Just destroyed him! <laughs> ah, yes! 
Okay, so we're still in this. Roserade is showing its uh, strength by one-shotting Scolipede, which is really nice. Um, so I think Roserade's going to be one of my top contenders. I really am upset about Spirit Tomb, though. I am so upset about that because I could have Z-Pain split it uh, after taking an Earthquake, too, actually. Gotten my defenses up, then burned Excadrill, and it had been useless, but I got critted, so... Uh, regardless, we got a switch. Uh, I don't want Roserade to take a Hurricane. Um, and Empoleon handles Pidgeot pretty well. I am running, uh, especially Bulgy, I believe. So, yeah, we can handle that pretty well. Uh, threaten Toxic, uh, get our rocks up, all that wonderful jazz. So, in comes the Pidgeot. As it does Hurricane, we're going to leftover recovery right back up to full. So, it's not a big deal that he's going to get the switch here. Uh, in comes the Zapdos. A bit annoying, but eh. Uh, Thunderbolt, I believe, is probably what he's going to want to go for. Um, I think we go into Savali because we can take an electric move. Oh, he's going to just go for the uh, Roost, which does make a lot of sense. Um, oh, I think we Sword Stance here. I see an opportunity. <laughs> Ap Slow King. Uh, does kind of threaten, but I am um, at 634 attack, and a multi-attack should absolutely wreck that thing. Oh, it didn't quite wreck it completely, but it is a two-hit KO. We're just going to keep going for the multi-attacks. Yes, yeah, Savali, you're going strong right now. <laughs> and if he brings an Excadrill, I can flame charge it, so that works out for me too. But if he stays in, it'll just die. All right. Whew. Tangrowth is gone, which means he no longer can threaten to put me to sleep. Really quite handy. Um, and my dragon typing actually is really clutch against things like the Zapdos. So we're going to flame charge here, I think, just to get our speed up. Hidden power ice, that is annoying, but now we're faster and we can rock slide. Judging by how much damage that did, that should be enough to take it out. And it does. All right. Go Savali. Go, go, go. Uh, another multi-attack, definitely. It survived the multi-attack, which is a little bit annoying, but ah. Okay, so our sweep was cut a little short, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and get our stealth rock up. Uh, this is a good opportunity to do so, just get the rocks going. Um, it does mean Excadrill is a little more threatening, but oh, Saval, you did so much work. It's amazing. I am really, really pleased by how much work Savali did. But we're going to actually pull a shenanigan here. Actually, no, we're going to go Scald. Uh, so we're okay at this point, I think. The Focus Blast would have hurt, but... Um, oh, Savali, you did amazing work there. Got me back in the game when I was really worried. But in comes Excadrill. It's going to Mold Breaker, probably running the set I think he is. But at this point, uh, he has to decide if he's going to go for the Earthquake or the Rapid Spin. If he Earthquakes, that's fine. Um, I'll lose Empoleon. Prob oh, I didn't lose Empoleon. That's actually really key because Pidgeot uh, won't be able to take me out. Uh, do we roar? I think we roar. As he Hurricanes, it's resisted. So we're going to roar. Get into the Slow King, um, and now we're going to Scald. If he wants to switch, that's fine. If he doesn't, that's fine too, um, as we can take another one of those. Get our leftovers. We're burned, which is annoying, but at the same time, uh, how much damage did Scald do? Not really all that much. We're going to just toss a Toxic before we die. Um, so, yeah, that'll put us in a better position, I think. Uh, now we can go into Heracross, who is Choice Scarfed, which means Rock Slide will destroy everything. 
There's our Moxie boost. What? Where's Where's our Moxie boost? Oh well, didn't matter. <laughs> okay, so that was that was good. Uh, we'll download and save the replay. Uh, that was quite a good match. Um, I'm not sure why Moxie wasn't on. It should have been, but regardless, uh, copy the link address. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, later.